This is Pat Gunn, and we're playing Skyrim. I have figured out how to restore his uh, sale function, and there is something called Job Merchant Faction that when he died he was removed from. And I uh, put him back into it, and we are good. So, I will put back on my Amulet of Sales, and... Take a look and sell some of this junk back to see if I can get uh, some of that gold I just spent on having him train me uh, back. And as you can tell, uh, my speech skill is now decent enough that at least for some of the nicer uh, nicer gear, I'm starting to get uh, decent returns. Well, I guess it's just at 53, but even still, it's really lousy early in the game. Looks like I've still managed to make myself pretty poor, but I'm doing a little bit better than I was. Actually, because I have 53 leather, I can afford to make some more strips. And I've sold enough that I can now move around more freely. So, um, I am going to make sure that I don't have any active quests that will require me to return some of these uh, bits of jewelry to people. Let's activate some of these things. Okay, so I don't... I still need to find flawless sapphires for Medesi, but I have never found any of those yet. And I need to keep my mammoth tusk and bring it to Isolda. Or Isolda? Not sure, but yeah, I'm not carrying anything that I... Uh, any smithing stuff that I can't afford to lose. So, let's make some jewelry. And, uh... I'm wondering, do I have silver? Yeah, I do. Yeah, so jewelry is definitely an efficient way to uh, level smithing quickly because of the high value. And uh, let's see. And I'm realizing I should keep the timer set so that I know when I'm getting near the maximum. So I don't have any refined moonstone. I am going to buy just some of his additional smithing Take a look. Uh, materials. But, but I'm also going to focus on the things that are useful for the line of uh, line of, uh, of smithing that I chose to do, which is light armor. And I might as well put on now my crafting gear. So let's see, I can do elven stuff. Now the shield that I'm using is already improved, but I think I'm not wearing all elven gear. And let's find out what I am wearing. Okay, I'm not wearing elven gloves yet. And these guys give an armor rating of 13. And I'm not wearing an elven helmet. 
and uh, my helmet currently gives me an armor rating of 30. So helmet 30, gloves 13. Can I beat that? Well, I won't know until I craft it and then improve it. So that shouldn't be too hard to beat. Helmet 30, gloves 13. Sorry, Balamond, I need the table. What brings Balamond today? Repair? Purchase? Huh. I am out of uh, Moonstone, and I don't think he has any more to sell to me. Take a look. Nope, he is out of refined moonstone, but I might head to another smith to see if I can uh, get some. Oh yeah, but I did end up making... Um, uh, elven gauntlets, which are worth 29. And they are nicer than than my current gloves. So I'm, I'm definitely going to sell my current gloves. And I'm not overburdened, so I'm going to pop up to Windhelm. And while I'm there, I'll deliver this uh, this potion to the alchemist. Or I guess it's a cracked file. But yeah, hopefully there'll be some uh, refined moonstone that I can pick up here. So the Dwemer disappeared partly because they were building a gigantic robot that they were um, attempting to infuse with mystical energy to turn it into a god. And they were messing with the dead bodies of other gods in order to do that, and they were binding some of their essence into it in some uh, sense. The game doesn't make it clear whether the other gods wiped them off of the... Uh, off of the face of Tamriel, or if they messed up in their experiment and were wiped out as part of it. Either makes a good story. Let's see, where am I going? I think the alchemy shop is over here. And. Everyone says Yorland Looks like he's already heading to bed. So I might as well. Molten. Might as well turn uh, some of my uh, ores into uh, ingots for smithing. Actually, did I have any moonstone ore? If I did, then maybe... Yeah, I can... that will do. And that gets this helmet nicer than the helmet that I'm wearing now. So let's uh, make nicer versions of these. So the, the helmet that I'm wearing now is a helmet of Magicka Regen, which I'm taking up to 26. Let's enchant this elven helmet up to be one of those. That looks much better. Forty-seven. Looking good. And we're gonna put it on now. Oh, and I didn't give it a didn't increment the number, that is okay. And the other thing I did is I made replacement gloves and I'm preferring my gloves to improve my bow damage. So let's see what I can do here. My hand sunk through the surface of the table. That is great. And I do have a grand soul gem for this.
Okay, and uh, so these did 32, this does 38. Well, that's an improvement. And uh, did I make any other gear while I was... Uh, I guess I made a, a whole lot of... Um, a lot of jewelry. Um, I'm not going to actually mess around with my jewelry too much because it's it's going to change a lot with um, I'm not going to make a lot of jewelry for myself because it's going to change a lot when I hit enchanting level 100 so I'm going to take manage this stuff for sale right now so I saw a 468 up there here's a 472 yes yeah, so fortify two-handed is still the best uh, enchantment for me. And it's worth decent experience. I know that this is not the most exciting Let's Play. Apologies for that. And, uh... Pretty soon I'm actually going to level from this. I don't remember if, if Fortify Two-Handed was the best for rings as well. I have a whole bunch of gold jeweled necklaces. me another. Is this enough to push me over? Yes, it is. Good. This brings my magic up to 300, which is nice. Let's see if I have... Okay, so Arcane ba Blacksmith will... Oh, I'm so close to being able to take Glasssmithing. I am torn between that and Arcane Blacksmith because this this is kind of a hassle. Thing. I'm gonna take this. I'll take glasssmithing uh, sometime soonish. And let's see what. Okay, I'm not entirely sure what a bandolier is, but it might. Uh, 525 now, 525 after. Oh, oh well, well, I guess I'll go disenchant the Dark Leather, uh, or dark, uh, dark Brotherhood Bandolier then, because I'm not using it anymore. That is kind of a goofy inconsistency introduced with that mod. Um, the game treats Fortify Carry Weight as an enchantment, which uh, means that... Well, I'm not going to wear these anymore, but I might as well... Might as well... Uh, so that means that you can craft mundane items from mundane parts and actually then disenchant them. But you can only do it once, so it's not it's not that abusable. But um it's still kind of weird. So those, actually, I keep on going. That, that's all the jewelry that I can make. Can I make any more elven stuff? No, because I'm out of moonstone. 
How about steel plate stuff or scaled stuff? Yeah, the ingredients for these aren't too bad. Um, steel plate armor is still a really good uh, bargain. Although I think these might take steel to improve. Let's find out. And yes, that is that kind of goofy... No, they take uh, conundrum. Well, that is good. Oh, and let's see if we have any weapons that can be improved now. Yes, good. And yeah, since now I have the arcane smithing feat or perk, it uh, anything that I've already enchanted, uh, it's open for uh, continual improvement as my smithing skill increases. So yeah, it's it's not strictly necessary in that I could always just take great care never to enchant something until uh, until I've already improved it as much as I can. But... But it's just... Um, it's enough of a, of a convenience that it's worth it. It looks like I'm actually being li uh, limited more by leather strips than by the other, uh, than by a lack of other ingredients. So let's use some of this leather to make more strips. And I'm kind of amused that you end up teleporting right to the right location. looking pretty good. That should give me a lot of stuff to enchant too. To burn through all these uh, soul gems that I'm suddenly filling with my bound weapons. Okay, so I think that's probably about enough smithing for now. Let's see, I don't think I picked up any new weapons. No, I didn't. Let's improve as much of this stuff as we can. So the effect of smithing is pretty amazing in the game. You can uh, practically double the effectiveness of any armor once you get your uh, smithing skill up high enough. But we are done with smithing for now. And at this point, we're just uh, preparing to sell all this stuff. Now, you, you will find yourself going through cycles of, of this pretty often. Head into a dungeon, get stuff to sell, get raw materials, um, all that fun stuff. Then come back and level, uh, level smithing and alchemy and uh, enchanting. And you'll get, it'll turn into such a habit that you'll find it pretty weird when you're finally done with it. And you just end up keeping uh, all that gold rather than, uh, rather than continue to pour it in there. 1484 is destruction. Can I beat that? No. Destruction is still the best that we can do.
but yeah, eventually it moves from being uh, a hassle that loses you money into being a great source of money. Although I am down to greater soul gems at this point. So I'm going to want to make sure that I have enough soul gems to keep on uh, collecting this stuff. So I might make a stop by the College of Winterhold at some point. Now, 1242, I know Fortified Carry Weight is another one. Yeah, it's another enchantment that happens to be uh, worth a lot. It's kind of weird thinking about uh, magical rings that help you lift things. Yeah, the, the important thing now is to make sure that I never, uh, never use a grand soul gem for something that I'm just intending to sell. So I'm actually now out of... Uh, I'm out of filled soul gems, and I'm wondering if I'm out of soul gems entirely. Almost. So I'm very low on them. So yeah, I'm going to need to pick up more soul gems. Now it is... early morning. If I wait a moment, then people will start to come out. And I can start selling this stuff off. Would hate to be that guard. Seems like a very boring job. Okay, I'm hoping the smithy... Yeah, they seem to wake up pretty early. And fortunately, unlike a lot of the other... Uh, Merchants, he is ready to sell stuff as soon as he's, uh, as he's out in the open. I'm a little bit worried that I'm not going to be able to sell enough of this stuff to get down beneath uh, being overburdened. And it looks like that is probably going to be the case. Now, could buy more iron ingots, actually, and leather and leather strips. Which will help a little bit. Oh, maybe I can uh, manage this. Helmet of Magicka Regen. But yeah, this is just a point in the game where you obsess a little bit over money. I'm hoping this will be interest, uh, interesting to those of you who have had to think this way for a little bit. And yeah, this takes me back from being overburdened. I can make some more silver ingots. The cacophony. Cacophony? Cacophony. Look behind me. I think I saw it there. Oh, yes. No. Didn't that happen yesterday? Huh, these guys have repetitive lives. Assorted wares and tools you just can't live without. Come and see for yourself. More stuff to enchant. Wall, but who wants to deal with all the soldiers these days? 
Okay, two more. Oh yeah, I'm out of out of soul gems, so I, I just have to sell stuff when I'm uh, when I'm done with it. But let's let's stop in the alchemist's uh, shop. And I can prop off this uh, crack file. Of course the white file exists. I have it. Oh, seems like I accidentally pulled Captain Lonely Gale in. Let's... Alchemy! Listen, how did you manage to damage it then? Figures. I doubt you have sufficient knowledge. Wow, what a douche. Either way, now if you'll excuse me. Here's for your trouble. Sweet, I'm rich. Five gold. Well, not quite, but... I want to thank you for your help. I know my master can be a bit short at times. Here. Even though the file is damaged. Now, if you'll pardon me, I want to thank you for your help. Well, 500 gold. That's a little bit better. Is there anything you don't need? No. Apparently you need everything. I have a decent mind for potions. Aha. Uh -huh. A skill book, which apparently I've already read. Magical okay. Be careful. <laughs> okay. So I am going to pop back home. Now, unfortunately, when you change maps, I think a lot of the times the merchants, they'll lose any extraordinary amount of gold that they've acquired through trades with you. So you have to be a little bit careful uh, about that. So it's, it's great and it normally works to... Um, to try and sell back a lot of stuff to a merchant that just trained you. But if you step away for just a moment to enchant something, or or smith and proof it, or something like that, then uh, then that gold just disappears. Yeah, what do you want? This is about the meter. You come to see. Take a look. Oh, so he's still willing to buy and sell things despite the hour. But he still ha also has all the old um, okay, gloves, gloves. Okay, I can sell these gloves to him. And some of this armor. Cool. And I was unable to turn this into leather, so I might as well sell it to him, the, the goat hide. And I'm going to sell him all these Falmer arrows, because they don't do much damage. And, uh... As fun as crossbows are, I think I'm going to sell my bolts yeah. And my crossbow uh, to him. I just don't see myself uh, actually using that weapon, and it's it weighs me down. Also, there are these ancient Nord arrows that also don't do a lot of damage. So I'm going to sell those. And that gets him down to having practically no gold left. And I'm going to drop off the rest of this stuff in my house. Uh, the rest of this uh, smithing gear.
And at this point, I'm actually going to be uh, saving um, I'm going to be saving dragon bones rather than selling them. Oh, no, I do have plenty of petty soul gems, at least. I don't think... I only have three common ones. So I, I would like to get that to pick up some more common soul gems at some point, because levels being, uh, monsters being leveled, uh, such as they are, uh, monsters that are of petty size are not super common at this point. I'm going to hold off on leveling alchemy until I can get my enchanting to 100 and make myself a nice set of, uh, nice set of uh, gear with maximum maximum uh, fortify alchemy okay so that's all the alchemy stuff Let's see if there's any stuff that I won't be using that I can just put away. Oh, I have some jewelry to sell, apparently. I keep on forgetting that I haven't taken the perk yet that lets you sell anything to anyone. Let's put away the rings that are not enchanted. put on that necklace. Oh no, actually we're not ready to put on that necklace because we're about to go sell stuff. But yeah, we're just about ready to head out for our next adventure. I'm hoping that the Ar Argonian who... See me in the market if you're looking for the finest custom I'm looking for you. Oh, but you're heading to bed? Not well, I'm afraid. A few months ago... Not that there's anything that can be done about it. He's in good with the Thieves' Guild. Okay, so I guess I'm just going to have to wait here for him to, to show up t tomorrow morning. And I didn't actually wait long enough. I don't know if Argonians sleep in or not. If they're anything like uh, iguanas, they're fairly lazy beasts and being cold-blooded, they, uh, they would probably like to wait until the sun is up. Oh, I didn't put everything away. Looks like I'm going to have a tough time selling selling all this expensive jewelry. Oh well. Um, I wonder if I can sell it to the uh, court mage. If not, I wonder if I can sell it at the College of Winterhold. Because I should probably swing by there and pick up some more soul gems. Hi. Did we have Take a look. Do you accept jewelry? Yes, you do. Great. So I don't actually need to make a trip to the College of Winterhold. Unless you don't have enough soul gems to, to sell. And you do not have a lot. I 
I can actually buy some filled soul gems. And although they are far too expensive, they are a great way to uh, attack. Uh, they're a good uh, gold sink. And after all, I'm really almost as much after the experience uh, of enchanting as I am after the um, after the gold. So I can might as well enchant this gold diamond ring now that I have some full full soul gems again. There's nothing I really want to disenchant. And uh, let's put a petty enchantment, maybe Alchemy is carry weight is 744. That's a pretty good bet. A yeah, carry weight is better than two handed. So that is another thing to sell. I think they're all having breakfast. Wish to master the arcane arts. Okay. Okay, that didn't end up too badly. Uh, she's back to near where she started with gold. And so am I. And I've sold a lot of that junk. So, things are looking good. Oh, and I can sell Staff of Ice Sparks and some books that I no longer need. Good. And are there any spells that I need? So I could get Conjurer uh, Flame Atronach. That's kind of useful. Flame Atronachs are a lot weaker in physical combat, but they throw fireballs from a reasonable distance. Nothing else looks particularly amazing. I think I'll hold off on that. So I still probably don't have enough. Um, Need something? Probably don't have an, enough soul gems, but this might last me for a little bit. So that seems like a good breaking point. I'll see you in the next Let's Play.